Good morning and welcome to the Monday Angel Live message with Rachel School Talk. And here we are on Monday the 23rd of September here in Australia. You're a little bit behind in um, other parts of the world, but nonetheless, this is your reading for the week ahead with some energy work and exploring the messages that spirit, that angels have for you for this week. So something that has come through very strongly for you today is this question is, are you hiding? Are you avoiding being your true self? Letting this, the world see you, letting the world see your gifts, letting the wor world hear your true voice. Are you sabotaging in some way, hiding, denying your true self, even avoiding putting your stuff out there through procrastination? Because deep down, you've got some fears about being persecuted. You've got some fears about being ostracized, attacked, put down, judged, criticized. And it all comes from this, you know, it all stems from this fear of persecution. And so many light workers and people who say that they're sensitive, they're empathic, they're um, creatives, they're artists, they're healers, they're visionaries, people who have this dream that of being a successful healer, coach, artist, and yet you never seem to quite get to where you want to go. You're either doing it and it's a struggle, in which case this is even more pertinent for you, or it's been in the background of your mind to do it, but it's always something that gets in the way of um, you putting your stuff out there, getting that book out there, getting your work seen by the right people and by a larger amount of people. And then, of course, there's people that you know that you've got this awareness that you're hiding um, or that you've got what I call the invisibility cloak on is that you, um, you're putting it out there, but it somehow is not seeming to, um, to reach the masses or to, to connect in a way that you really want it to connect, that your vision has told you that, that inner feeling. And so you can sort of tell there's something going on and yet you don't quite know exactly what it is. Oh, I'm seeing everybody here now. Hi, Liz. Hi, Ida. Hello, Kylie. Lovely to see you. Hi, Catherine. So this is really today about exploring that and saying, you know, what is it that's really going on here? Now, there's so many people at the moment that are feeling this nudge to shine your light out into the world. And listen, it isn't just about a career, although that's, you know, often what it is. It can be also about meeting your soulmate or, um, connecting with your soul tribe, the people that who, who are your friends that um, you feel most yourself around. And of course, if you're not showing your true self, if there's a part of you that has a real fear um, in your consciousness about being attacked, blamed, ostracized, and this can come from childhood, it can come from past lives. It's, it's a witch wound, this fear of persecution. You will, you will keep yourself separate and hide but at the same time, you'll be telling yourself that it's for a reason. Maybe you're shy. Maybe you're a bit of a hermit. Maybe um, there's another reason your health hasn't been great. But what's underneath all of that is this needing to hide, needing to, you, it's like having one foot on the accelerator of your car and then one foot on the brake, is that you never quite get where you're going because inside you're sabotaging you're holding yourself back hi debbie nice to see you here so let me know if that's something that you identify with or that you have this um feeling that somehow something is holding you back but you're not feeling it's not like a paranoid feeling it's just that like what could it be what could it be and consider is there a fear in there that of being or showing your true self of who you really are it's something that a lot of light workers have to work on because there's been this, um, you know, many lifetimes where um, you might have been punished, religiously persecuted, um, ostracized, ignored by people in your family, in the wherever the town that you lived, just because of the timing. 
for being intuitive about for being sensitive for being a bit different for, for being someone who has amazing talents and look it's only really in this day and age where people like um, artists and musicians and and authors are actually um it's something that you can be wealthy it was, used to be seen as something that people wanted but they were kind of looked down on or, or kept poor so that's something that you have to work through from from your past life but one of the most important parts of anything that you're doing that you're trying to create or manifest in your life is that you have to remember to work with the mental energy it's i did a video on this the other day in my private group um empath soul tribe if you want to find that i'll put the link up later or just put that in the search engine and you can join where we were talking about how the most energy that we have to really take care of as people who are sensitive to energy, we're self-aware, we're interested in raising our vibration, we, we think about things in a different way than a lot of people do. You look for the meaning, you look for the signs, you know that there is a deeper meaning behind life. It's not just about working and you know living and going through all of the the steps and then that's the end of it we know you know that you're a spiritual being having a physical experience you know that life is essentially eternal um and that your spirit is just as important as your physical body and that gives you a whole new perspective and not everybody understands that and one of the reasons that you learn about all of this hi shaza hi suzanne and maya one of the reasons that you learn about all this is that it lifts a lot of the fear about life but light workers and empaths have to constantly remind themselves of this because you can get sucked into the old way of thinking like this is what it's all about it's just about working to live and making the money and having the status and having um what everyone else thinks you should have and if you're a little bit different you can feel ostracized rejected not good enough because you're not feeling that acceptance from some of the people around you but one of the things you must learn about is your mental energy because every thought that you think has an energetic effect on you it can affect you physically but also the energy of the people that you surround yourself with the people that you encounter their mental energy the way they think their beliefs their projections can have an effect on you too so you're not imagining it you're not imagining it when you can feel the thoughts of other people you can feel the thoughts of other people now i'm not saying this to make you into a victim if if as a teacher and a healer if i was to say um anything that made you feel powerless then i would be out of integrity and not speaking from not channeling not coming from the higher um spirit um it's to remind you that you do have power and the reason that so many empaths and sensitives tend to feel powerless is because you feel bombarded by the energies and you don't know what to do with them. Or you feel and sense someone's low integrity, or you can literally feel the energy being pulled out of you by some people, right? Give me a heart if you're a person that feels it when someone is draining you. And you might not feel it at first. You might go, oh, this seems like a nice person. But after about 20 minutes or a short time, you start to go, I'm not feeling great. And sometimes it's your energy being removed from you. Other times it's that the person is venting and you're feeling, and usually this happens to me later. I don't usually feel it at the time. And I've got a whole process I do um, that stops me because I couldn't work as a healer. I'm so sensitive. I could not work as a healer if I did not protect my energy properly and do this process that I do that makes sure that what people release doesn't come to me. But that usually hits me later and then I go okay something's landed on me and I've got to remove it but you can be blown around in this kind of storm of energy if you don't know how to how to properly look after it and when you learn how to properly look after it you no longer feel persecuted you no longer feel victimized you no longer feel yourself on this roller coaster so having your power back as being an empath, a sensitive, a light worker, a someone who absorbs energy, getting your power back changes your life. And it, you stop taking on the energy of others and it stops affecting you because the way it can affect you is mentally. You start to feel down. You might have negative thoughts that don't feel like your own that seem to come out of nowhere. You can feel one minute you were feeling good, next minute you feel really depressed and you're thinking about negative things or you're anxious, you're fearful. 
you even might start to get some form of depression if you're not looking after your energy properly you're not conscious of the energy that's coming into you you can absorb it from other people so they don't necessarily need to be talking it or especially if you're hanging around with them a lot so someone that is in your house or in your workplace or you might be just taking it on that's the other way we we get mental energy is that the person's telling us and we actually absorb it and we start to worry about it and it, it we don't do anything to release it or it can be projected at you and that's when someone's sending you hate someone's sending you gossip someone's sending you negative negative energy jealousy um, or they're thinking I always I don't like it when people say I want to pick your brain I mean what like just break that down <laughs> um, no you can't pick my brain you can ask me a question maybe but the energy of that is I'm taking something you know I'm, 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 I'm taking something from you so those three ways that that fear energy in a mental form comes into your being and starts to affect your thoughts your emotions what you say the inner dialogue and then on a deeper level it starts to affect your beliefs do you believe in yourself do you feel yourself good enough so some of the work i do with people for instance is we can cut cords with people that have maybe created heartache pain abuse in the past but we also remove the mental psychic attack that happens as a result of that stuff and when you do the twofold of healing it that's what creates the change because when you get your own um, autonomy over your own thoughts back you will feel completely different you could heal something that has felt like a problem for years and years or months and months or weeks and weeks instantly the minute that you heal and clear that energy and so if you, the the biggest step in taking the leap from being a person who's just awake and aware of energy and um, aware of, of the you know the power of the universe and that there is angels to stepping into um mastering being an ascended a version of yourself doing what your met your soul is here to do basically is awareness awareness is the first step and and sadly a lot of spiritual people and empathic people don't understand that and they they haven't got to that place of, of self-awareness so you start to notice okay i'm thinking something that doesn't fit for me it do, definitely doesn't create the, what i want to create it doesn't um, serve me and I'm not even sure if this is me. So you can straight away just go, okay, I'm going to release these thoughts. I'm going to send that energy away and transmute it. And I don't need to worry about where it came from. It might be useful if that message comes to me because then I know I can avoid someone or I can avoid maybe um, a certain place where that happens to me. But I'm aware of it. And you, it's just like becoming aware of what you put in your body food-wise, right? It, the more aware you are, the more you have the power of yourself. And then you learn the skills to quickly rid yourself of lower energies. And then you start to ascend. And by that, I mean you start to gain power, mastery over your energy. You start to use your energy for what it's meant to be used for, to fulfill you and also to magnetize um, what it is that you need, you know, ask and it is given. And you also use it um, in the serving of others. So you are not just there to show how clever you are if you do Reiki or counseling or therapy or art or whatever, you are, and, and to gain the accolades for it, you're there to give love with what you do. And that's the difference between someone who is just sensitive and someone who is empathic is that you feel real love, unconditional love for the people that are in pain. And see what has happened is, which is one of the reasons I'm doing my new course, is that a lot of empaths have forgotten that part because they're so busy and so overwhelmed and so struggling with the onslaught of, of negative energy that they're encountering they forget the love they because they start to become victims they're like oh my god i can't i can't help anyone because i'm i'm um 
struggling with the energy that people release when I do help them. So, and that actually becomes a problem because if you haven't got, if you're starting to go into resentment, say, which is easy to do, this isn't a criticism. If you are, let's say you're talking to a friend and the friend is suffering in some way, they're depressed or anxious or they're sad, they've had a breakup, they're not feeling good about themselves. And the whole time that you're feeling this, you're actually feeling a bit of their pain and you're thinking, oh, oh God. And it, if you go into resentment, if you go into bloody negative person, I wish I was, you know, I wish they weren't re releasing this energy on me um, and, and start to kind of feel bad about yourself, you are literally lowering your vibration again and making yourself feel worse. So then the awareness comes in of how to protect yourself so that your energy doesn't drop further. And you can either say, right now, I'm not in a place where I can listen to you, but I would love to another time or just excuse yourself if it's you've just been, you know, um, slammed in a supermarket or something and you're, you're busy, you, you're not available for that, that's fine. And just send love and move forward. But if you go into blame and shame and, and all of that stuff, then you are lowering your vibration and, and you are sort of warping who you're meant to be. And, it, and the only reason resentment, jealousy, fear, all of that stuff comes up is because you're tuned into lower energies and you need to tune yourself out of them. And there's only one person that has that power, that's you. So there's a little insight there. But what I want you to be aware of today, or the angels want you to be aware of today, is mental energy taking care of your mind and literally noticing when you may have taken over. I heard someone speak the other day um, about something I've spoken about before, which is mind viruses, or I think Dr. Wayne Dyer used to call them memes. So you might think of something like, oh, I'm not good enough. And if you think about it, possibly everyone in the world has thought that at some stage, everyone who's, who's an adult, I'm not good enough or I'm a failure or I'm afraid of failing. And it's like a big black cloud that's just floating around in the atmosphere. And if your energy has dropped and you've been feeling a bit bad about yourself, then that cloud comes and sits on you because there's somewhere in your energy, you've, you've matched it. And when it sits on you, you can't seem to get out of that. And that's where you can call on the angels and say, I need to lift this dark cloud of energy. And that saves you from a whole lot of overanalyzing, <laughs> which is kind of one of the most stressful things I think about um, having to deal with energy is overanalyzing. So <laughs> am I making sense? I feel like I'm chatting, chat, chat, chat. So let's get on with the reading, which I'm sure you're waiting for. And if I've got a couple of minutes at the end, if you've got a question, I'm happy to answer it. Or um, we might do a little quick uh, reading. I'm just seeing who's here. Hi, Karen. Nice to see you. Leanne is here. Hi. Catherine, Lena, Sherry. Lovely to see you. So, and look, please don't be afraid of asking me questions. I'm not doing, um, you know, unsolicited readings, but I'm happy to answer your questions. And also to let me know if there's subjects that you want me to talk about. So let's ask the angels what it is that you need to know at the moment. So we've had some massive energy coming in over the last few days, huge. And the angels want you to be as peaceful as possible because there's guidance coming for you. It's like if you've been struggling, doing a little bit of energy clearing, it's going to make all the difference to you. And then moving forward, you will be able to um, feel less scattered, feel less distracted. And that will enable the guidance that wants to come to you at the moment. All right. So let's do another one from here. Ooh, oh, I'm so glad it's him. That's cool. Okay. So your first card is an Archangel Michael card. I'm not going to whiz it up to the camera. I'll put them up on Instagram or Facebook later. So this card is about making a decision. Now, I first always look at the um, energy of the card and you can see the clarity and the light around this figure. So it's a, 
he's not particularly um, unhappy. He looks even, maybe he's got a little bit of a smile on his face, but the energy around him is very clear. So you have some decisions to make. You've got some moves to make. The angels are saying with these new shifts that are coming in, many people are feeling restless and uncomfortable because they need to move forward and they don't know where to move to. I'm not just talking about location. It might be decisions in your business, in your family life, in your health. So now is the time to do a bit of research, a bit of um, searching for data. You know, it, it's whether that's looking on the internet, whether it's reading books, whether it's talking to friends, where, whether it's going and having a check out of the things that you're considering. You need the data. It's almost like there are things that you don't know yet that will make everything come, become clearer for you. So you might not even have heard of the thing yet that you're meant to do, and that's why you're feeling restless and uncomfortable and indecisive. It's going to unfold. Others of you, it's already unfolding. And so all you have to do is sit still, let the energy come through you. Don't run too far into the future. Now this is a, I love this card because it matches my background. <laughs> this card is from the um, Work Your Light deck by Rebecca Campbell. And this says, what are you clinging to? There's a crumbling. It's like the tower in the tarot deck. There are things around you that are um, falling away. And they're saying, don't panic and don't hold on. Just let them go. If you're not comfortable with anything, relationship, friendship, um, as much as possible, just step back a bit and see what manifests, see what comes out of it, see what comes next, because some things are meant to fall away from you right now, and they're saying you're holding on too tightly to them. So you know what makes you do that? Fear. Fear. Fear of the future. So you see how they're saying, don't worry that the future hasn't yet manifested. You probably need to let go of something first. You don't know what it is. You've got to make, make room for what needs to come. So don't beat yourself up. Just allow what needs to go to go. And if you're not sure if it needs to go, don't do anything. It's okay to not do anything, you know, to sort of go, all right, I'm not going to push on that at the moment because maybe it's it's not um, meant to be working. And if it, by letting go, sometimes things will work again or sometimes they will just fall away and you'll go, okay, that's what was meant to happen. That must mean there's something good coming in. Then you've got the outcome card, which is my absolute favorite at the moment. He's coming up lots for me. Um, and I think that's because it's, you know, I'm a healer, I'm a leader, I'm meant to be helping you. This is about a call to action. It's like, as I started this message today, it was all about stop hiding, stop hiding your true self. Just be who you are. If it's not pretty and it's not perfect, who cares? That's where you are at the moment. Be that. If people don't like it, don't go running around and trying to change yourself. This is who you are. Because you need that vibe to be pulsing out from you. If you're hiding your vibe and trying to be like someone else, um, that's not going to be your authentic vibe and it's going to take much longer for what you want to manifest to come to you. So... What's going to happen after you've let things fall away is that you're going to have a call to action. Spirit's going to give you a message. What it is that you're here to do. What is meant to happen next. And this is about you taking charge, walking your talk. It, I just want to keep saying to you, who gives a stuff what anyone else thinks? Do you. Be you. Lead by example. What you'll end up doing is inspiring people. What you'll end up doing is people will want to be like you. <laughs> I, I get that sometimes. Um, so you just got to be who you are. And who cares if you think your hair color isn't right, your eye color isn't right, your shape isn't right, you, you've got too many wrinkles like me. You, who gives us stuff? It doesn't matter. You do you. This is your life. Okay, and you do that with the right mental mindset, everything is going to fall into place. This is about you pulling your energy and looking after this, your body, your energy, your spirit, your soul, and imagine what miracles can happen as a result of this. So um, I'm using Archangel Michael cards and Rebecca Campbell cards, and I've also got the Keepers of the Light ones, um, Lena.
Thank you for asking. I'm not going to do a reading, Catherine, darling, but um, if you'd like to book a reading with me, you can come on to RachelSchoolTalk.com and I can answer your question for you. Um, hi, Mark. Lovely to see you here. Sending you lots of love and blessings and surrounding you in angel energy. Hi, Nerily. Lovely to see you too. Angel blessings. So, okay. So what I wanted to talk to you about before I go is that I have um, the Energy Skills for Empaths online training starting on the 22nd of October, already selling very quickly. It's a very, um, this is what the angels wanted out there and, and it's, it's certainly very popular. So if you would like to be a part of that, please let me know. It's six weeks, six modules of online training. We will do a video call, Zoom. You'll be sent the invitation and you'll also get the recordings, audio and video of the, um, of the classes if you can't show up. It is also going to be, I have a, a, um, a VIP private Facebook page for people who are on the course. I'm going to do four one hour um, energy healing uh, sessions, so I'm calling them the healing circles. We're doing a deep energy detox with Archangel Michael and Raphael, which is going to strip away all the witch wounds, the past lives, the entities, the lower energies, the beliefs, the contracts, the agreements, all the things that are uh, clogged into your energy, energy that you may have picked up from trauma, um, any cords, psychic attack. I'm going to cleanse you so that you are sparkling clear. We're doing a divine love activation with Mother Mary and Archangel um, Samuel. We're removing your obstacles and barriers to success with Archangel, um, Archangel Gabriel and Ganesh, um, which is going to be a big one night really working on those things like what's been anchoring your energy and stopping you, you know, fear of failure, fear of success, um, and at external barriers. There's going to be four healing circles like that, as well as six 90-minute sessions, plus a live hot seat healing intuitive guidance and mentoring session, which is a 60-minute one as well. So it will run from the 22nd of October till the 26th of November, every Tuesday um, here in Australia in the evening. But if you're on the other side of the world, it'll be your morning. And it's going to be um, all about how to fully protect your energy learning the ascended energy skills for empaths, so how to clear it, how to clear away the things that have been pulling you down, how to not take on people's energy when you're helping them or interacting with them, how to give without being drained, how to um, clear repeating patterns of attracting energy vampires and destructive relationships, people that pull you down and put you down. We're gonna be lifting your energy vibration putting you into your ascended empathic, empathic energy field and upgrading the chakras as well so that you're really in touch. You're going to learn all of the chakras, not just the seven, the um, major chakras, the soul star, the, the um, energy gateway, the, the earth star, the ones in your hands, so that your spiritual and intuitive gifts are fully awake and you're no longer in this phase of, taking on everybody's stuff and in the persecution phase too. So this is this is helping you to use your skills in a way where you're not feeling bombarded all the time. And it's designed to get you on soul path and purpose. There's going to be a lot of um, teaching, but no study. You don't have to go away and study or anything like that. Um, so if you'd like to be a part of that, it's six weeks. You get over 15 hours of live time with me. Um, and it's, there's also a, a three or six part payment plan, which makes it really super easy. It's, it's a pretty low price program anyway for me. Um, so if you would like to be a part of that, just PM me with your email address or send me an email if you know it, and I will um, send you the information and set up a 30 minute chat if you want to have a chat with me about it and I'll find out about you and your vision and what you want to create in the world. So I really want to get empaths out of that feeling bombarded, low energy, and having to constantly work so hard to clear your energy. So we're getting out of struggle. Are there any questions, anyone? Um, or any comments? If not, I will um, sign off. So yeah, Catherine, if you want to do a reading, just contact me. Okay. 
she deleted. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Lots and lots of love. Have a great week.